Morning game time, go time. Who wants some Wang? Shadow Warrior 2, Faceless Foe. Game progress, 22%. Uh, I had a lot of fun with Frostpunk last night, but also I really like this game. I want to keep it going. So I have a little bit of time for a shorter stream than usual on this Tuesday. I do have to work today, but we're going to get in a couple hours of some sword swinging samurai gun toting demon killing madness. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna do <clears throat> all right what were we doing last time we played uh i don't remember we're at the wang cave what kind of missions we got let's double check all right, we got that new shotgun, the automatic shoddy, full of fire and brimstone. We got our standard assault rifle that looks like... All right, it's just a regular. It doesn't have, any, doesn't have anything on it um, in terms of um, elemental damage. I have a charge shot on the rocket launcher. I got to remember that. We got here flaking ammo, All right? That's a little bit of arctic damage. Poison on the pistols. My sword is lightning. Okay. Hey, Paraline, how's it going this morning? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, friend. Uh, let's see here. Always takes me a second to like get back. See, this is why I usually try not to jump between games a whole lot, but I've been doing it more so lately than usual. Um, just because I don't have like an all immersive game. Like this game is great. Frostpunk is great. Sunless Sea is great, but it's not exactly the same as when I was playing Prey, for instance. Like Prey is all encompassing. You know, it's like the only thing. Uh, I wanted to play at the time. This is nice to jump around. Uh, going good, doing some multiplayer in Warhammer 2. Man, uh, see, that's another game. I, we, I, I mentioned it briefly yesterday when you when you talked about it. Warhammer 2 looks so awesome. I have not played a Total War game ever. Um, and I almost, like, I, Rome. Rome was the one I was going to get into, but now it's been out for a while. Did they release a Rome 2? I can't remember if they released a second one for the Rome series. Um... I don't know much about Warhammer specifically, but that seems like the total war that I should get into. I, I dig the, the sort of fantasy aspect of it. Um, Shadow Warrior's great. It's super crazy. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I literally just jumped into it here again. So it's uh, it's been a couple days. I think like the 4th of December is the last day I streamed it. Um, let's see here. Vulnerability. Reduce my vulnerability to elemental. There is a Rome 2, and Warhammer 2 is a good starting point. Cool. I also, like, that's the sort of game that I know, just as they've made more iterations of it, I'm sure they've, they've, uh, streamlined parts of it. They've really figured out the way they want the tactics to work and all that. And it just, it looks so beautiful. It just, it looks like an awesome game. Someday. Someday I'll get to that. Uh, I already bought too many games this month, and we're going to have a winter sale coming up. And I actually, uh, Prey, the DLC for Prey just got went on sale. So Moon Crash is out for sale, and I think I'm going to pick up that at some point as well. But I got I got three games in the works, right? I'm, I've already like played in the middle of three games, so. Um, all right, let's junk that. Let's junk that. What level? We have, like, stuff all up to, like, level 40. Yeah, I know Moon Crash is very different. A lot of people didn't like it because they didn't realize that it's a roguelike. They thought it was a straight-up extension of Prey, the Prey story, and it's not. 
and I'm totally cool with that. I love roguelikes, especially like a well-made first-person kind of roguelike thing. So it sounds great to me. It sounds great to me. I don't know why I decided to start the stream with doing inventory management, but just like I obviously didn't do it at the end of the last game. I decided I'm just getting rid of all, all gray ones. Why am I still using this gray one? He drained she after. Hmm. Yeah, let's stop using. Here, let's stop using that. He drain. What does she drain mean? I'm not sure about that, but I feel like I should use it. I don't use the chi blast a whole lot. She after enemy killed. Pushed enemy's damage. Pushed enemy's damage. Alright, that's up in my, my capacity. Alright, well, let's... Here, let's just use my top ones, I think. And I'll just use that more often. That's so much stuff. So much stuff! Cervic Essence. Uh... Cervic Aspect, 9.4%. I feel like I should swap... Oh, no, okay, I'm using, I'm using better ones up here. Oh, I'm using better ones on my other swords. I forgot I had those on my other swords. Here, I should take I should take those off because I'm not I'm not even using those swords. Here, so let's here let's um what do we got here? Germinate soul. All right, that's the dual fire. 27, 30. All right, let's see about this one. Maybe there's a better one. Oh, I see. So I, I can add more, more elemental damage, but they won't be as powerful straight up. 43 damage per hit. What's it at right now? 47.5. With 40%... Um, Extra damage, toxic damage. Alright. Alright, maybe I'll just leave them the way they are. Let's do a mission. What missions do we have currently? Alright, we got the, the bounty. Kill the dojo kids. Oh yeah, I was having problems with this one. That was This one I couldn't... I was having trouble with that one. Let's do something else. Let's get the ancient smithing scrolls. Yeah, let's do that one. Hmm. Other missions in progress. I feel like I don't have the weapons to handle it right now. Yeah, we're gonna do a different one. Because there's there's these really big dudes in that mission that I just, I couldn't handle. I think I need to get, like, a, a different weapon or something. Um, I don't know how to handle them. That's probably the, the hardest mission that I've come up with against so far. Total War multiplayer, huh? I would have trouble. I would have trouble with multiplayer in that. I was never particularly good in real time strategy. Um, I re I like stuff like StarCraft. I, I know it's not the same as StarCraft, but like that real time strategy, I really like it. But I I'm much better at games like Civilization, like Civ Six, just because I have the time to like think and plan out, and uh, and I'm pretty good at that. All right, what's my deal here? What am I supposed to be doing? Just retrieve, retrieve the skulls. All right, how do? What? Hold on, gotta remember what my my keybinds are here. Oh, that's great. Yeah, to have a friend who's really into it, and you can like sort of like learn learn as you go. That is a great way to do it. Go. Oh. We'll bunch these guys around. 
I see a lot of big dudes over there. Otherwise, you're nuking them in sick Civ Five, yeah. Not to sound like a racist, but all you demons really do look alike. Ice vulnerable. And that guy, I know he's ice vulnerable, but he's also on fire, and I keep taking damage every time I go up to him. You feel lucky, asshole. Everspace, yeah, I have Everspace. It's fun. I play it sometimes when I do my my roguelike days. Um, I think I played it two Fridays ago, briefly. Um, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not my favorite roguelike, but it generally works well. Uh, and it's neat, and it's very pretty. Alright, hold on, I forgot what the, um... My power, my power things. Ten dollars on PC right now and just got a Switch release. Hmm. If that game runs well on Switch, I think that's the way to play it, honestly. It's great on PC, and the controls are great, but... If I'm sitting at my PC, I tend to want to play something else. But having Everspace as portable, that sounds great. Being able to just jump into a couple missions of it, you know, and then if you want to play it at home, you can play it on, you know... But 10 bucks, I also wouldn't want to spend too much more than 10 bucks on it as well. Though they probably deserve that much. Sorry, okay. Cheap last to see. Trip of Darkness is X. Shadow, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, so there are all those buttons in there. It's definitely neat. Um, it doesn't really do anything different. It's very, very standard uh, roguelike kind of thing. So as long as you dig that, then you'll enjoy it. Um... Oh wait, they want me going the other way. Let me know if volume's too loud. 45 bucks on Switch. Uh, ugh, God. Yeah, I don't know if I personally would spend 45 on it. The dev team, team sorry, the dev team did a good job. It's, it's, it's a very fun game. But I would be hard-pressed to spend 45 on it. Given the amount of time I've played it. Currently. Meaning I have not played it $45 worth. Whoa! That guy... That guy morphed. Oh, electrical resist? Well, we'll use this then. Most of your roguelikes on Switch. Yeah, Edge of the Gungeon, man. I put a lot of time into that game. And that's the game I would love to have on Switch. Yeah, roguelikes on Switch make a lot of sense to me. That is exactly what I would do. 20 bucks seems good. Yeah. And if you already have a bunch of roguelikes... So yeah, basically... If... If you're really interested in it, and you're and you're dying to check out a cool space flight action game... Then, get it on PC. If you... If you don't need it right now... Wait for it to come out on Switch. I think... I think that's the way to play that. Wants me to go down and back. Can I not make? Oh, maybe I can't. Here, I can make this. Hold on.
Oh god, six bucks for Enter the Gungeon on Switch? Hell yeah. Enter the Gungeon is... I mean, it's probably the best roguelike in general right now. I mean, I know that's sort of a subjective thing to say. But Enter the Gungeon just does everything right. Does everything right. As far as that, like, top-down roguelike bullet hell sort of thing works. We're not the ugliest thing I do today. Um, I really, really like Enter the Gungeon. And I've yet to beat it. I've played it for hours and hours and hours and hours. And I've never managed to, to get all the way to the end. Yeah, when I first got that, I was, like, grinding it. Open the gate, find the key. I was grinding Enter the Gungeon for, like, hours a day. Um, I don't know if you were in the channel that day we were talking about it. Hold on. That day, uh, Imaginary Monsters and I was talking about it, but when we, when we took his game, um, Death State to PAX East, they had just released Enter the Gungeon. They were literally right across the, uh, the walkway from us. So we get to talk to those guys a little bit, and, uh, it's just really cool to see their booth. Shit, shit. Holy fuck. These guys might get me. See, this is where I wish I had electric on this gun. Oh shit, another one coming up. This guy's... Let's get that one out of the way. The toxic guy is the problem. Oh god, about to die. Shit. Ah, God, I don't know how to deal with those, um... Don't know how to deal with those, those grenades. Oh, that worked. Vital, so, okay, and these pistols hit vital, so that... So I gotta take more, uh... I gotta watch better. All right, let's let's see if I can add anything to this. Picked up a couple extra damages, toxic. Oh hell yeah, look at these. All right, let's add that. About this one. Extra damage, toxic, eight point four. No, oh, maybe not that one. This one ups the toxic effect vulnerability and the toxic effect damage, but general damage goes down. Hmm. Hmm. Darkness. Nah, I won't worry about that. I do wonder if I should change this up somehow. What do I got here? Holy shit, Hans Bricks! What's going on, man? What is going on? It's been quite a while. Good to see you, buddy. Really good to see you. I miss you. Let's play some games together, man. 
Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go this other way. Ah, Jimbo. Jimbo, my friend. Jimbo, it was a lot of fun watching you play. Watching you play Darkest Dungeon last night. Hey, speaking of which, Jimbo, I, I mean, I know we both kind of do our own things with, like, what we stream and all that, but if we can find a co-op game, I would love to do a collaboration stream with you at some point. This looks like a secret. Statue Fortune! Gimme, 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 gimme. How do I get up there? No, oh, <laughs> we got nerds in the channel. Got me some nerds. All right, so not. Oh wait, there's a box over here. Get some stuff. Yeah, that would be a super blast. Well, we need to find we need to find a game. It it can't be like a long co-op game just because we both do have our our own personal stuff we want to play. So we need to find something that we can like jump in for a day, you know, and have like a blast playing some co-op. Maybe we'll find something during the the Steam the winter sale, you know, because um, that'd be really cool. There's some big co-op games I haven't played, like, bigger ones, like, that are a couple years old now. Like, I never played Resident Evil 5, and I never played, uh, what's that other zombie one? Um, what do I hear? Um, that one with, like, the parkour, and the running around, and the RPG stuff. I what it's called. Yeah, there's always another sale. Always another sale. Dying Light, yeah, that's the one. That's a game that, like, I know is supposed to be fun, especially if you have a friend playing with you, and, like, doing it on your own, it's like, it's fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. I went into spider hell. Yeah. See, that's the problem. At this point, most people have played it. So I might just... I might just skip it until I get... Until, like, a new Dying Light comes out or something else. Oh, shit. But yeah, Jimbo, keep your eyes out. If there's ever a co-op game that you, uh... Like, you see something on sale or whatever, let me know. And, uh, and, and like it interests you, let me know and, uh, and maybe we can pick it up. Oh, there is a, there's a new one coming? Awesome. Hey, Electrojack, what's going on, man? Been a little while since I saw you in here. Good to see you. Was there stuff up there that I'm missing? See it on the map. Oh, it's all that stuff. All right. Up there? Oh, up here. Gimme, gimme. Voltaic compound. I don't know about this bow. I don't know if this is something I want to keep using. It's... It works, but it's not my favorite bow in a video game. You, you know it's nutty when there's a character named Lo Wang. Yeah, this game is crazy. It's just some good crazy fun. Um, I'm definitely, I definitely still have lots of gameplay in Frostpunk, and I'm gonna go. Holy shit! I'm gonna go back to Frostpunk, but uh, today's gonna be a shorter stream. So I was like, let's just get in for some, some fun action for a couple hours before I have to go to work. Oh, well that was easy. Hey, 
Yeah, <laughs> you, you get it. <laughs> a dick load of dick jokes. Yo, if I uh, wait until I get back to the uh, the main town, I can show you the uh, I can show you the most amazing sword you've ever seen. Oh, this goes back out. All right, that goes back out to the main area. Hold on, I don't want to go that way. Oh, maybe I do want to go that way actually. Looks like they both go out to the main area. Work, boo. Yeah, I know. I I picked up the shift a while back, and I I mean I need to I need to take it, but also I hate that I took it on my stream day. I thought it was later. Hold yourself together, man. Like I thought it was at five o'clock, so I could like do my full stream. Jesus. But it's not. It's at three. Oh my god! Gross spiders. Seems like a sword situation. Oh god, that's, that's an edge. <laughs> Yeah, um, it kind of, yeah, it kind of does have a Borderlands 2 feel, I suppose. I mean, obviously, stylistically, they're very, very different, but with the loot system, you're kind of right. You're kind of right. Oh god, what do we got here? Toxic vulnerable. Oh god, get me out of here. One of those guys is electric resist. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. That serpent is... All right, now I got chain. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, they're up there. This is my right. This is my way. Wait a second. All right, what do we got? Borderlands 3, yeah. Confirmed. Oh! It worked! There we go. I don't use that power very often. The main thing in this game is you really, really have to pay attention to the different elemental vulnerabilities that everyone has. I don't think I played any of the DLC for, for Borderlands. Looks like this is in your month. These guys keep going invisible. Can't keep track of them. Alright. The Wanglopedia. Did I already finish that last serpent? I don't think I did. Is that him? Oh, it's just another Toro. The accuracy of this is not. Oh, Jesus. Alright, bunch of chests in here. That ammo, I need it. Let me know if the volume on this is is a little odd. I can adjust. 
There's that key. Paralyzing core. Can I not get up there? Here we go. Excuse me. They want me to go back, it looks like. I think this connects to the big the main area. These maps are always surprisingly larger than I expect them to be. Like the game the game has a surprising a lot surprising amount of things going on. Um yeah, I guess I would sort of relate it to like a cross between like Borderlands 2 and the new Doom. Like that's kind of how it like because it has like all the loot mechanics and weapon customiz customization. Uh but then like every mission sends you into like a big arena map kind of like Doom where it's just like enemies keep spawning and you got to run around and and fight, you know. I think the FOV is a little low. What's what's the normal FOV? By the way, like what is the basic one that everyone usually plays at? This is at 65. I usually never touch the FOV. I usually just let it be whatever it is. Like whatever the default is for that game. I can't remember, like, what other games use. A little higher, like 20%. Well, let's try. Is that 65? Try 75. See how we feel about it. Always make yours 90. That's a lot of view. I mean, I do have an ultra-wide monitor, so having a better field of view may, might feel okay. I just, I don't want to, like, since I've been playing it for, you know, 15 hours at one, I don't want to, like, make myself sick or whatever. I can, here, let's try it. Let's see what happens when I go up a little higher. Yeah, let's try it at this. Yeah, I never even think. I mean, I know it's a big deal to like be able to change it and stuff. I just, I never think about it. I always just like, eh, like you know, I'll leave that alone. But you're right; it probably will afford me a little better. Oh shit! This boat wasn't bad for like, especially like when I start out. Like, it's very powerful. Kind of hard to use in the middle of a big battle, though. Oh, shit. Especially if I'm gonna miss with it. I can't be missing. I can't be missing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Vermin six low. Oh yeah, Vermintide two. I I had a fun weekend with Vermintide two, and then I never touched it again. It's a it's a great idea. Here's the thing: I don't want to grind Vermintide two on my own. I I need to play that with friends. Looks definitely next gen now. All right, yeah, fair enough. I wonder if that's part of the reason why they keep it low originally in this, because they're, like, sort of doing an homage to, like, the original, the original game. Ah, uh, you'll play Vermintide 2 with me? Jimbo, yes. Please, can we have a Vermintide 2 day? That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. 
I wonder if Known has uh, Vermintide too as well. Just since that's a, you know, since we four people. Though we can easily do a two player. Yeah, solo can be annoying. But even two player, it's it scales okay for two players, I think. Should I kill uh Alright. See now I'm wary of killing rabbits because they turn into those those bunny lords. Alright, we got a big guy. Toxic resist, electric vulnerable. Shit. I really don't want to use my sword on him. Here, hold on. I gotta let's let's add uh lightning to this to this gun, I think. Damage superior in elite enemies. Alright, let's take that off. I have this electricity one right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Might be good. Bots running. New update made it so you can command them though. Oh, that's, that's a good... It's a neat addition. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, I play I, I stopped I played a lot more Vermintide 2 than 1. I thought the uh the loot mechanics in 1 were, were completely broken. Oh shit. This guy hits hard. With that toxic shit. Oh, no problem. No problem. We handle that the right way. Handle that shit the right way. Oh, these guys. Yeah, it's those grenade dudes. I really don't like these guys. There's one more of them. Not anymore. Oh, wait. Yeah, he's still alive. Now he dead? Yeah, now he dead. Yo, you want some wang? Come get some wang. I'm, I'm definitely going to breach Twitch TOS. <laughs> Come get some wang. Yeah, this game is great, Trooper. Game is a blast. Yo, Trooper, I wish you were here when I fought the Bunny Lord. You gotta, I, I gotta send you the, the clip of that. It's in my, it's in my clips. When I first found a bunny lord, that shit's, that, man, I was just laughing. I was just like cackling with glee as I ran away. You ready to kill some fuck faces? <laughs> yeah, bunny lord was. The name of the game sounds pretty generic. Well, if you have any, like, knowledge, I mean, like, you know, it's like, it, this game came out back in, like, 96. So, I mean, it was generic back then. It's like, but now it's like, they can't change the name. It's like, you know, they gotta keep the brand... Keep the brand name, you know what I mean? Played a little of the first one recently. Yeah, first one was fine. This one really takes it up a notch. Like, this one, this one's legit. Yeah, so, Electrojack, the original game of this, it came out, like, right after Duke Nukem 3D, and it used the same engine. Um, it was the same thing as Duke Nukem 3D, but with, like, a samurai vibe. And it said Duke Nukem, it was Lo Wang. Ice vulnerable, but I gotta go up. Oh, wait, I can use this. Whoa! Oh shit. 
Let's get rid of this little guy first. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really feel great about this grenade launcher. Yeah, let's... Oh, this is the way to go. <laughs> oh, beef soup. There, there is Wang for sure. Yeah. You played the 3D one? Yeah, it was the Duke Nukem engine. Or it was like the next iteration of it. <laughs> yeah, this game's great. I mean, it's, again, like, it's not... It's not immersive. It's not gonna, like, win any awards. Uh, but it's very well made. The action is good. Um, there is a shit ton of weapons and you have just upgrades for freaking days i have so many upgrades i couldn't possibly know what to do with them all like the you can just every weapon can have three different upgrades into it you can add elemental attacks um it has full co-op um it has these these power cards so you can like give yourself new abilities it, it's it's endless it's absolutely endless okay, actually wait while you guys are here Hold on. I gotta show you something. If you're at all curious about the type of humor that's going on in this game... What the hell? No. If you're at all curious about the humor... This is the type of humor we're talking about. The Great Gilded Wang. <laughs> So that's, that's what we're on about. Very good. Very good. <laughs> hey, Widen Game. Yeah. I just had to come back in so I could show people what kind of game we were playing here. I can't use that at the moment. I'm curious if I'll ever get to use it. Yes. Very good time. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. <laughs> yeah, that's a weapon. Yeah, there's spikes coming out of it. Yep. It's the great gilded wang sword. Take all these guys out before I head down there at some point. I can't. I haven't mastered this bow yet. Yeah, there are spikes coming out of the balls. That's true. Oh, that dude's down there. Hey, drop some. Oh, it's your blood. Come on. There we go. That was a big one. Superior dynamite. He's dodging my uh, arrows. There we go. Uh-oh, they see me. They see me, I'm out of arrows. Oh, electric resist, of course. Nothing like it. Thought I heard guys behind me. I thought I heard them. Oh, that's the electric resist guy. Oh! Holy shit! He's seen now. Holy shit! He has lightning! Yeah, the 
The sack was definitely neatly bondaged. Whoa. Oh, they're immune to powers. Come on, little buddies. Do you feel lucky, chump? Well, that's how we'll finish that, man. Hey, no problem, Electro Jack. Thanks for hanging out. Good to talk to you for a little bit. I'll see you soon. I'll be back on Friday morning, if not before then, but for sure on Friday morning. And visions of gold wangs dance in his head. <laughs> if that's what I can give people, that's what I will give people. Yeah, hey, Beef Soup, don't forget, you got that, that bark emote now. Um, you can use it in Discord, you can use it here, you can use it on your phone even if you have an iPhone. Am I supposed to go down? A true gift. <laughs> I'm supposed to go this way? Time to get an iPhone, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you see, I have to buy an iPhone because I got this really cool bark emote. Can I get more arrows? Hmm. Oh, cool. You can pick up out of the bodies. I didn't realize that. All those arrows I shot down here. Give them to me. Hmm. Looks like most of them are gone. I love, like, these fucking reload animations. Look at that shit. It's so good. So good. Up? No, not up. This way. Ooh. Jesus. Hardened, huh? All right. Well, I gotta get. I don't like these these bomb guys. Can't be so hard to. Don't host someone really loud and screamy, please. Oh, yeah, no problem, because you're going to sleep. Yeah, no problem. I generally do not host anyone like that. I can't watch anyone like that. I guess Dr. Disrespect is on my auto host list, but he's at the very, very bottom. I host. I host other people before him. He's like, only if no one else is on. Tell you what, Electrojack, I'll just turn off auto host for the day when I leave. I'll do that. I can like pause it for a day. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I'll have someone. I'll find someone calm. Uh, looks like someone's been through here before us. Wow, they really did a number on this place. Who we did it. Loot. We did the mission. At least we got this dial. Consolation prize for the old man. Guess you're not getting your sword back after all. Oh, I'm getting it back. But the instructions... ...were stolen. All I have to do is steal them back. How can we find who took them? Well, we can start by tracking down whoever put these tags up. Huh. Smart. Yeah, I try to keep my intelligent moments to once per year. Get ready for a tsunami of stupid. We got your shit. Oh, we didn't get it. 
It was robbed. I'm afraid there's not much left of your grandfather's library. It is unfortunate. That's it? You lose a trove of priceless, irreplaceable documents, and it's unfortunate? Who can say what is good luck and what is bad? <laughs> I try to remain unattached to any single outcome. Wow. I bet you're fun in Vegas. Anyway, there was a particular piece of graffiti all over the place. I think it might be connected to the looters. I will let my students do some digging. I thought you weren't attached to any one outcome. My fist will be attached to your face in a moment if you continue being impertinent. Understood. Let me know if you find any leads, sir. All right, I got a nail gun. Any luck finding the looters? One of my students contacted me briefly to say he was on to something, but we were cut off. And he hasn't checked in since? I'm afraid not. I would appreciate it if you could try to find him. He said he was on a rooftop overlooking the marketplace. It's pretty vague. I can get a new ability. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say yes to pretty much all of these missions. All right, let's see how much cash I got. I don't usually buy much stuff from this guy. <clears throat> uh, all right, y'all, look at all this. All this trash. So if you haven't watched me play this game before, uh, I decided long ago that I am just going to sell any of the low-level stuff. Anything that's gray, I'm pretty much getting rid of it. Because there's just so much stuff to get, like... Uh, I mean, I'm using this because I need I need ice right now, but like generally there's just so much stuff to get. Oh, actually, I got new ones. Yeah, so I can get rid of that one. The amount, again, the amount of upgrades is just, like, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, what do I got? I got new skills. Explosives pouch. Oh, there's a ton of explosive ammo. How many? I got two skill points. Let's see. Maybe some health. Max amount of hit points. It seems worthwhile. I think I'll do that. And what? I got a new weapon. This nail gun. Not super excited about nail gun, to be honest. Um, I do like that chainsaw. I took one of these things off here. Hold on. Let's let's redo this. Um. Damage converted, movement speed. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like this. I'll be faster. I'll convert more damage to elemental. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and add. Chance to freeze. Yeah, yeah. And then we can add even more. Yeah, frosty substance. Alright, cool. So that's upgraded ice. Upgraded ice chainsaw. What's not working? This grenade launcher is, is not working great. The automatic grenade launcher. What can we do here? I kind of want to change it. I don't know if I want it to be ice anymore. I need a long range electricity one. No. I like the flaking ammo. Right, what else do I have here? I do have more electricity stuff. <laughs> then do it. Here, I got a whole bunch... whole bunch of extra electricity stuff. Up the damage a little bit more. Extra damage is electricity. What am I taking off of it? 
like the same thing. It's a level 39, level 37. Alright, I'll leave that one. Can make them sticky grenades. I could take off here. Hold on. Miss rate goes up. No, no, no. I'm going to keep the. I like having multiple grenades come out of it instead. So if that's electricity, maybe we make this. Damage to large enemies. She after enemy killed. Flip reload. So let's take that off. Let's make this. Spirit of ice. Yeah. Let's give that a little bit of ice. Yeah, this is on Steam. This is on Steam. Alright, what's the bow doing? What do we got in the bow? It's just like... Wait, I, I didn't realize I have a chance to change targets into rabbits on hit with this. Fire rate. Damage resist. I don't know if fire rate actually helps. It probably ups, maybe it ups the charge time. Is it free? No. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I got it for free. Uh, oh, actually, no. I, well, I think it is on Steam, but I have it on uh, GOG. Adds mis explosive material. Does that make it? Oh, it does make it uh, red, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, GOG gave it away for, like, uh, whatever. Enables a rapid fire mode? Nah. I don't know if this actually... Because, like, this has, like, a charge thing, so I don't know if rate of fire... It does have a rate, though. Alright, I'll just leave it the way it is. It's not terrible. All right, see what this guy has. Sell my junks. Can I just sell it all? Yeah, sell all junks. I do not have a ton of a ton of coin at the moment. Plasma cutters, nah. I'm good on your stuff, buddy. Let's go check what Larry has, and then we can go on to our next mission. Yeah, I mean, this game's worth it. Rabbit fire, rabbit fire. Hey, Larry. Look at this guy. I like this guy's design. Like a biker demon. Right, he's got this other automatic grenade launcher, but I don't, I don't really need two automatic grenade launchers. I don't have a job yet, so yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Maybe, maybe don't spend uh, 33 bucks on this if you don't have a job. Play the other games you have. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of money for all my ammo. But running out of ammo, I can I can manage a side mission. I can't do a story mission without buying ammo. What should we do? Here, wait, hold on. What? Uh, how much ammo do I have? I have about half my grenades. I'm super low on machine gun ammo. Yeah. Here, let's not buy everything. Let's buy... Wait, refill to max, 27,000. All right, let's get more medium bullets. And let's get more... A couple more light bullets. All right, we'll just go with that. All right, what mission are we going to do? We got two right now. We got a story mission. I'll get a new new skill for that. Got the side mission. Get a new skill for that. All right, let's continue. Let's continue this side mission and see if we can find his uh his pupil or whatever.
How's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good day? A good Tuesday? What time is it? All right, I'm doing okay in time. Uh, oh, I've been here before. So, were you one of Smith's pupils? In a way, I was a bit of a special case. Star pupil? Most of them had been there longer than me. I only started three years ago. Ooh, look at the fast learner. I do okay, but Smith was always very protective. He never sent me out on missions, wanted to keep my training under the radar. So he didn't turn you into a mercenary? Do you feel nice? That's others? always good. They're not mercenaries. Their only concern is helping others. They take a bow. Oh, great. Idealists. Just what we had Oh, he's mighty. Wait, short term braces? Is that a thing? I didn't realize there was such a thing as like short term. But the whole point was that like you had to do them when you were a kid. Dojo kid. Hey, Dojo kid. Lo Wang, I'm so happy you're here. That makes one of us. <laughs> the fuck happened? I am ashamed to say that I failed. My pride made me overbold, and I was captured. How can I get the key to this thing? That guard there has it. But be careful, he does not raise the alarm. Which card where? Which card where? Oh, he's on the map. I need more money. I probably should search around a little more. I mean, I guess I never had braces, so I'm not familiar with. You have to have years for a year. So other people have six months. Yeah, I'm not like not familiar with how long. Usually people need them for. This doesn't look great. That looks terrible, in fact. I need to find some more secrets. I need more money. Here, maybe? Anything up here? No, nothing up here. This game always surprises me with how decent it looks. There's people walking around in there. Oh, I didn't hit him. Can I not hit him? Oh, there we go. Yo, the chainsaw is so good. <laughs> have to remove the mouthpiece to drink. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to stop drinking coffee. Tell them you can't do it. It's not going to work for you. I should have known better than that. I do like that you can just saw through all these walls. It doesn't seem to be anything in here for me. Let's just go fight the guy. Yeah, then you have to brush again before getting... Yeah, no. No way, man. Might just have to give it up for a little bit. Rats, just like Vermintide. 
Just like Vermintide. Oh, I'm excited to play that now, Jimbo. That'll be a fun, hectic time. I'll have to reinstall it and we can figure out a, a good day for it. Chop, chop, motherfuckers. Stop rolling around. Chop your head off, bro. Yo, Trooper, I saw you were playing Doom the other night, I think. How's that going for you? I miss that game sometimes. I'm so excited for Doom Eternal. This is the gun. Did he just dodge it? He is dodging it. wasn't the guy though was it no 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 new clip new life that sky oh shit Those things gonna jump down on me? No, they're up there. Yeah. See, run up behind me. Hear more of them up there. Oh, yeah! All right, seems okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. I don't want these guys surrounding me while I'm fighting the whatever the big dude is. Down there? Yeah, he's down there. Let's see what we can handle before I jump down into that mess. <laughs> Rude. Oh god, is that the big guy? No, it's not. It is a big guy. I don't think it's the big guy though. Oh shit, shit. Where'd he go? There we go. More achievements, huh? I'll take them. <laughs> Just yelling. They're quite good at dodging.
Toxic resist, electric vulnerable. Wait, that's not electric. This is. That least seems better than the way I had the grenade launcher before. Fire in the hole. You're the hole, by the way. <laughs> oh wow, nice jump. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's okay, it's just physics. The guard. Oh, this is the guy. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Vital, mighty, physical resist. No, I can't be dealing with other dudes. Shit. Running out of chi over here. Do you feel lucky, Mary? Right. This guy is a bullet sponge. Very bullet spongy. Way down. Yeah, as long as I just I gotta make sure I dodge that that thrown attack. Shit, I'm running out all my ammo. Yeah, that one. That one's quick. There we go. There we go. Got my key. Let's go back and get this guy. I shouldn't have healed. There was another healing thing right here. Come on, let me up there. <laughs> These maps, they're just, they're so large. Sword, though. Forgot what the uh, the purple shrines do. Ammo restored. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Take care of those guys. Wait, there's so many of them. Alright. Let's keep moving. 
Back to town. Get out of this jungle area. Maybe up here? Oh, shit. <laughs> That'll work. That'll work just fine. All right, buddy. We got you. We got you. We done? Come yeah, in. we're done. I found your lost sheep. Ah, uh, excellent. I'll be over to collect him shortly. Be careful. We did it. A little rough around here. I will take the necessary precautions. Thank you, Master Wang. Master Wang. I could get used to that. Okay, kid. You heard him. He'll come get you soon. Yeah. This guy gives me some sort of skill for this. Can't remember which one it was. My student told me everything you did, Lo Wang. Thank you. Everything? Everything. I should be able to repair the damage you did to his training within uh, two years. Hey. <laughs> what did um, I do? I didn't mean to offend. I just went and saved his I ass. Be, uh, a dickhead sometimes. We all have our own path. You are not called to the silence. To pursue it would be folly. This, um way of the wang you spoke to him about the way of the wang is long and hard and ribbed for her pleasure i see well good luck with that <laughs> yes well good luck with that what do i got or slash deadly projectile piercing through any target on its way uh i mean that's cool but i probably won't use that very much All right. I'll probably just jump into another mission for the most part. I don't think I, I probably didn't get many. Probably didn't get much stuff here, to be honest. Got a couple. But I probably should just save up. Save up money at this point. Oh wait, this guy's got a mission down here. Let's go check what he has going on. Located the scrolls. Any news about our friends? Word on the street is everything they got has already been sold off. Shit. To only about four different vendors. This is a small town. And you can find them? They're not exactly in hiding, sir. Point me in the right direction. I'll take care of the rest. First guy I'd try is Saito, not far from here. If he has them, I'm sure you can persuade him to sell them back to you. Oh, I can persuade him, all right. I'm just not sure any money will change hands. Thank you, I appreciate it. This guy. It's <laughs> like super proper always. Energy pouch. Hmm. I mean, I, I like the skill points. Skill points and money is really why I do that. I want to know when that upstairs part of his store uh, opens up. Unless there's some way I can get up there, and I just don't realize it yet. But it's, it makes it seem like there's like a staircase that like will eventually open up. Now let's see what the the side missions I have with the Wang Cave. We got a whole bunch of them. penalties for dying. To be honest, I'm not even sure what the penalties for dying are. <clears throat> so I'm just looking at the VHS, VHS tapes. Tracked them down. It appears they've landed on a black market and already found some buyers. You can retrieve them all and bring them back to me. What else we got? Alright, that one just gives me skill point and money. Skill point and money. Need somebody to collect some batteries. Zilla is using to power up his infantry. These power sources we want stable enough energy supply. Alright, well I'll just take this one. 
Oh, I already have a bounty active. I forgot. Uh, let's do a story mission. Oh. It'll mark a point of no return where any unfinished side missions become unavailable at this point. Well, good God. Hmm. Side missions. All right, well, let's do this this continued Ninja Scrolls situation then. Looks like it's uh, it's going to the city area as opposed to forest area. I'm not sure what I like better. I think I've, I felt the city areas are more difficult. It's been my uh, it's been my feeling thus far. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. So we just wander around looking for these people. Speak with Saito. New chat. Another idealist on the disabled list. What do you have against idealist anyway? Didn't you ever believe in something? Sure. Then I turn nine. I'm way too old to stop believing in this now. Smith's an idealist and... Jeez. I don't even know how old he is. <laughs> it's probably a long con. Those fancy swords are going to sell themselves. Seriously? You know his students are broke, right? They're orphans. He provides everything for them. Until the day he drops them off at the meatpacking plant. If you <laughs> seriously think that Smith has any intention of... <laughs> no. I just find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> you get upset. <laughs> Seriously, though, from what I can tell, Smith isn't an idealist. He's a highly exceptional realist. And people like that tend to attract idealists. You know, you could have just said you're a cynical old man and saved us some time. These things, man, I hate them. They like they move really quick and they just like constant volleys. Constant volleys of, of like rockets and grenades. Hi, I'm Luang. I'll be your acupuncturist today. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lo Wang. I'll be your acupuncturist today. Like that. Whoa! Didn't realize he was gonna do that. Jack didn't want me to play anything where someone was screaming or didn't want me to like host someone screaming yet here I am blasting shit away all right is there is there a way up there I feel like there's stuff up there I can there we go oh you're not you're not a person you're just a mannequin. Yeah, I need all the money I can find. Definitely been low on that recently. 
Definitely stuff below. Down below more. It's an easy way up. One guy upstairs. Oh shit, I didn't have these fucking guns reloaded. More friends. That miss. <laughs> Man, the sword melee shit is it's a lot of fun. And it works really, really well. It's very responsive. Stop dicking around. Let's go find Saito before I run out all my ammunition. Hey, buddy. Hey, you Saito? Who wants to know? Uh, just a humble art collector. You don't look like an art collector. And you don't look like you're about to be a pile of tiny pieces. Still, <laughs> here we are, right? <laughs> what do you want? I want those scrolls you have. Uh, oh, um... I, I sold those already. Bunch of junk. Who the fuck you sell them to? I never divulge information about my clients. Mm. And I never divulge information about where I bury my victims. Uh, let me up. Uh, let me show you on your map. <laughs> Wise choice. You'll need a password to get in the door. It's 23 Skidoo. Much obliged, Saito. 23 Skidoo. Get out of here, Saito. Got shit to do. Uh, do I go up? No. I go down. Yeah, I'm here about the receptionist job. Password. Uh, 23 Skidoo. Good job. Projectiles. Does that mean what other projectiles are there? Are these projectiles or are these explosives? Now let's make sure everything's loaded up real quick. Got a habit of not being loaded in this game. <laughs> not being loaded. That one's my favorite. The way he, re he reloads that assault rifle, it's perfect. Goddamn perfect. We got here. Big old case full of money. Feel like I'm being led to a battle. All ammo restored. Yeah, lots of ammo.
Okay. Well, there's a lot of green guys in here. I'm sure they won't stay green once I uh, deal with whatever happens here. Antiquities I dealer. You have something that belongs to a friend of mine. Everything here used to belong to someone else. Get now some glowy plants for your help. Oh, for your house. Shit. What about my ass? I agree. I want some glowy plants. I'd probably kill him though. Quite the contrary. It is you who will belong to my ass. You gotta work on that one. Yeah, that didn't come out as cool as I thought it would. <laughs> uh, kill you anyway? Oh, I very much doubt it. All right. Oh shit. Jesus Christ. Whoa. That was not a problem. Let's make sure we're all full up on stuff. True. We're, yeah, I mean, we're, can you buy glowing plants at like Lowe's? Do you think they just have them available? Because I would like some. I would spend... I would spend... $45 on these glowing plants. Oh, wait, they're holographic plants. Not even real. What a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> it's just a hollow projector. Were there other ones? Or were those the only ones? Bullshit. Hmm, stuff over there. I wonder if you can actually get in. Or if it's just like a map for, like, other times when you come to this area. I feel lied to about those plants. Nothing like a fresh clip. Oh, I'm just, I'm done. I didn't realize I was supposed to go back. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Lo Wang. You have done my family a great service. Yeah, I know. More than your family has done for me. Way of the Wang. Perhaps. Still, I am in your debt. Now, let's see what we can do with that sword. Careful. You don't want to slice off a fingernail. Remarkable. I have never seen anything like this. Am I going right. to get to replace my regular sword? To restore it. Please, stand back. Oh, man. I was hoping it was just gonna like shatter. You ruined it even more. Under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. This sword will never enjoy its former glory. But now you can put it to work inside another sword. Ah uh, well, that's something, I guess. Ninja Touch. Upgrades. So what, I add it to this one? There's Ninja Touch. Ninja Touch. Amulet. Melee damage. I mean, that's okay. But I don't really want to, like, reduce the damage of everything else I do. Ooh. What am I currently using? 
I think exotic statistics is better on weapons. New Civ announced, huh? Canada. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. Again, I guess I don't just don't really care about new civilizations. Love the game. But there's plenty there's plenty of value out of the civs they currently have. Though I mean, I guess it's easy for them to add more civs. <laughs> I know, but it's cute. <laughs> that's fair. I use guns enough that I don't want to just hamper myself. They have little mounties. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Uh, I am going to level up some stuff. This is job chance, drop chances of medikits. Extra 10% there. That's not bad. Max out how many bullets I can carry. I like that. Maybe I do... Maybe I max out bullet pouch. And... Oh, this happens... I wonder if it happens regardless... On my sword. Damage when active. Activation, I guess when I get to 20%, my... all my damage just is, is up higher. Hmm. So this, this doesn't look like it's an active ability. It seems like it's just... like, on my sword, maybe? Because these other ones are just... Hmm. I do two of this, so when it gets to 30%, I do more damage. I really want to... I want to max out this. Because having more ammo consistently... That sounds great. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Increasing my health also seems important, though. Gonna add killer instinct. Force slash width. Oh, I see. No, it is a so it's backwards. It is an active thing. Actually, that's not a bad idea, because I'm constantly backing up with the sword. So yeah, let's let's take one of those. Oh, I had it automatically. I just got level two. Oops. Oh well. Oh well. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I had a, a side mission still, right? I could try and do this bounty. I can try and do this one. I was definitely having issues doing it, though. It was hard. We'll give it one more try. I do like how easy it is just, like, jump in and out of missions, though. It's like I can teleport back at any time and just pick up a different bounty or whatever. No problem. Where is everyone? At the far reaches of the map. 
All right. How is immune superior specter? Yeah, I remember these guys being a problem last time. Oh shit! Well, I'm not doing great so far. Where the hell did he go? Oh, hello, no ammo friends. You ready to kill some people? Man, they hit so hard with those grenades. Let's get this room. Let's get this room. Fire resist, of course. And I need to reload. God, they're so good at dodging. There we go. That's a little better. Jeez, I don't know why I jumped right into that. <laughs> a little dumb. All right, is this fire? Is this guy still here? Let's see if I can get an arrow on this guy. Oh, he's vulnerable. Man, he's hard to hit when he's like bouncing around like that. Here we go. Let's just get up there. There we go. Oh, there we go. I don't... I don't know if having the chainsaw and ice is honestly that good of an idea. Like, it works well, but the problem is that usually... When there's an ice resist guy, he's on fire. And so if I get close, I end up getting a lot of damage. Oh, that, oh shit, bunny lord. There was a bunny right there. I got him. <laughs> My dog heard me yelling about Bunny Lord and <laughs> came in to see what was wrong. Just sitting here staring at me like, what is going on in here? <laughs> sorry, puppy. I'm sorry if I disturbed you. <laughs> She's like, I was sleeping. <laughs> Come on. Good girl. I'm sorry I woke you up. 
<laughs> There's only one bunny lord, and it's you. Good girl. You're on stream. You're on stream! All right. Uh, we have eight of the 30 specters we gotta kill. See, the elite... Sh See, this is fine. The specters are no big deal, but it's the elite shamans that were, like, really, really hard. They spawn... They spawn a whole bunch of dudes while I'm trying to, uh... While I'm trying to, like, run around and fight them. And they have, like, two... I think they had... When I fought them last time, they had two, um... Elemental resistances or whatever. Hi, puppy. She's so docile during the day like this. Crazy at night. Okay. Good girl. Go on. Off. Good girl. Alright. Sorry. Had to take a, a momentary... No. <laughs> Don't kick her off. I can't just have a stream where I pet a dog. Seven hour dog petting stream. <laughs> All right, down below. Why not? Why not dog pet stream? I suppose it could be done. I could be a pioneer. Yeah, wine and game pairing would much rather watch me pet dog and watch me slay demons in first person. See this guy, yeah. Hardened, physical resist, toxic. All right, so I gotta use toxic on him. Well, too bad, wine and game, because today we're fighting demons. See this, this, like, I'm trying to deal with him, and I got all this nonsense going on now. Which I guess is the point. those spikes? Yeah, sit on those spikes. You'd watch both? Oh, thanks. Thanks. You so nice. Shit. Shit, reload. Alright, where'd he go? Yeah, it's hard. This, this is where I had a problem. Because he sits down, he gets in a shield, and he's got these two guys. Ice vulnerable. Come on, come on. Alright, 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 good, good, good. Get that heal. There we go. He's back up. That's a bad idea. It's a bad idea to be like there. Oh, 
Oh shit. Got me like electrified. Gotta kill four of these guys. Keeps electrocuting me. I, I, I can't see him in there. This other guy. This other guy is fucking me up. Him and his grenades. He dead? strong and he has all of his health back this is where I could this is exactly what I was doing last time and I couldn't figure out how to beat him and I ended up running out of all my ammo this is my rifle this is my way wait a second I think these guys keep on spawning. Yes, because now I don't have any of my toxic ammo, and that's what I need to be able to fight him. Oh, he didn't completely respawn. healing Wow through his legs you feel oh, Shit 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 came down. Alright, electrical immune. You still like... Wait, how do you... Yeah, <laughs> you like Sit 5 better, but you haven't played 6. Just based on what you've seen of it or whatever. I played a lot of five, um, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm always going to play the new one, you know, I, in my head, I just assume they're doing more interesting things, but honestly, at this point, I can't remember even what was so different. I mean, I know the districts weren't really there. They were much different. Two steps back, one step forward. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I remember thinking I liked the combat much better in Civ 6. The way, like, flanking bonuses and all that. What was the last one that had... Ah, oh, there we go. Got one. 
Maybe it was Civ 4, though. There was one where it's like you ended up piling units just like Risk, and I hated that. I couldn't stand piling like seven warriors on top of each other to make it stronger. So it's like I like that system much better now. But that might have been Civ 4 where that was happening. Jesus. One down, three to go. Sucker for 16x games, though. <laughs> oh, that was four. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I've been playing... I've been playing Civ for a lot of years. That wasn't a thing in Civ 5. All right. Hard time getting into Civ 6. I mean, yeah, it definitely works. It definitely works differently. I just can't remember all the differences exactly. Hey, FL. How's it going? Welcome. Welcome back. Ice resist, fire vulnerable. Well, we're just gonna shoot him with this for a second. Because he's having trouble getting me up here. There we go. Definitely gonna run out of ammo though. I guess I can always go back mid mission. Jesus. Yeah, I think I have like 200. 280 hours in Civ 5, and I'm at like 130 hours or something in Civ 6 right now. Can't remember. Got a whole bunch, that's for damn sure. Chop, chop, motherfuckers. I'll deal with these spiders, now I'll go get that health shrine. <laughs> well played. <laughs> Took me a second to remember about that. <laughs> I really like those sounds. <laughs> Best use of bits ever. If you guys are ever interested, by all means, check out my soundboard down below on my profile. A lot of fun stuff down there. <laughs> what a way to introduce yourself to the channel. How's it going, Stray? Good to see you. Civ 6 on Switch might not be a bad idea. Um, here's the other thing. I have almost only played Civ 6 multiplayer. So it's possible that it's just not as good, like the AI AI is not as good. Watch five ads every night just so you can do that. I haven't been able to figure out how to get free bits like that. I just paid, I when they were on sale, I got like a huge collection of bits like a couple, like a month ago or something. But yeah, multiplayer Civ is definitely the way to do it if you can. I, I like playing it single player as well, but I just I haven't been doing it ever since I had a bunch of people to play with. Um, 
It can take a while. It's hard to finish a game, but it's it's the preferable way to play. Where are these guys? Like up and around somehow? In chat, you click on the bits, get bits. Oh, interesting. I'll just, I'll watch ads all day long. Yeah, like, I, I agree. Last time I, I looked for, at the Get Bits page, there was no option to watch ads. In this room somewhere, maybe? How the hell do I get up there? Oh, Jesus! Not to sound like a racist, but all you demons really do look alike. <laughs> Come on, jump up here. Jump up here. Oh, they did it, and I didn't hit him. Uh, you're repeating yourself, Lo Wang. I think it's not so much the AI, but the art. It has more of a stylized tabletop feel than the epic realism stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, that's fair. They did. They did go more for that. For that look. It's okay to be picky. I'm picky. You know, you just know what you like. You just know what you like. That's not a bad thing. We got bunnies, so I might accidentally get a bunny lord in here. Bunch of Toros wandering around. Only watch so many ads per given time. Okay. Well, maybe someday I'll figure it out. Alright, let's do a sword on this, guys, so I don't waste all my ammo. Maybe that's my problem. I'm not using my sword enough. Played. Good. Electric resist. Shit. Shit. I, my pistols are never loaded. Oh, ow. Where is he? One of those guys... Did I kill the bug? One of those bugs was... Resistant to my... There he is. Is that him? No, that's fire resist. Telling your uncle about Civ 5 and just hell against changes opinion. Yeah, yeah, no, Civ Civ is a great game uh for like older people who aren't like interested like aren't interested in games or like or not just for older people, for people who never played games before. First of all, turn based. That means they don't have to be good at mechanically manipulating the controls. Um, because that's a big thing. For people who didn't play games, like a controller is very difficult for them. Um, so being able to take your time and just think about stuff is a big deal.
<laughs> yeah, sorry. You ever that thing where it's like, <clears throat> you know, you're an adult, but you forget how to swallow all of a sudden? And you, you <clears throat> cough uncontrollably? Yeah, that was me. My bad. Uh, <clears throat> has that effect. People play Sim pretty much on the else. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's like, and it's been, even if you're like not into video games, but you like board games, it feels very much like a board game. Um, gotten games at like 50, has more than a thousand hours. And yeah, for sure. Makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely rip. It just, <laughs> it's just like died all of a sudden. Terrible coughing fit. Sorry about that. Like just barely muted it in time. Throw people into Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. People <clears throat> that idea too, it's like it's one thing to even deal with Dark Souls in general, but a lot of people would not be able to come to terms with the idea of losing progress. You get you have to have you have to have a serious gamer mentality to deal with the and and also enough spare time. Because, like, so many people just don't, as adults, just don't have the time to play games. So, if they only have an hour to play, they can't lose that hour of progress. <clears throat> I love Dark Souls, though. There's a lot of, actually, Dark Souls fans in here. Um, um, I played through... I did a lot of co-op with, with Stray Fox and Wine and Game Pairing on Dark Souls 3. Um, really, really enjoyable. <clears throat> I never finished Dark Souls 2 because my save file corrupted on me, unfortunately. I had like 55 hours into Dark Souls 2 and my save corrupted. Look at this. Ice immune, toxic resist, hardened, physical resist. The original Dark Souls? The first one? <clears throat> yeah, it really sucks. Alright, ice means so fire vulnerable, so we're gonna be using our shotgun on him. <clears throat> Potentially here, let's start out with one of these. This is definitely a better area to fight, for sure. A big part of the other problem was just that... ...being with all those pits. Oh, shit. Now, let's use a shotgun. Make sure he's on fire as much as possible. Alright, sitting down. He's gonna make some copies of himself. <clears throat> Shit. Thing is, I don't want to use all my shotgun shells on these guys. Where is he? He's like floating above my head. Where is he? Oh, Jesus. PS3 took you 70 hours the first try. Yeah, that sounds about right. These guys, like, they keep, like, appearing above me. And he's just over there healing. I'm gonna die. <clears throat> I just, I feel, I feel so underpowered for these guys.
Oh, look, a rainbow. Oh, Jesus, why'd I run over here? Is this a different lead shaman or the same one? Yeah, this is a different one. I don't know about this. Two skill points here. Just increase my life mastery. I need more health. <clears throat> Get up my ability to heal. Uh, just quickens how long it takes to cast. All right, we'll do that because at least it's continuous. Dead. <clears throat> I don't I can't remember. You don't have you don't have to be bosses twice. I'm pretty sure you could do it together. <clears throat> These guys are super OP. I definitely remember there was some inconsistencies with it where sometimes someone wouldn't get the win on a boss or whatever, but I think generally it was supposed to work. See, they dodge, like these rockets are useless. Like, I take more damage than they do. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? Th this mission's not worth it. I, I, I'm not having fun with that mission. There's no reason to bang my head against the wall. It's not even, that, it's not even really worth it. Like, you don't even get much for that mission. I understand, my map still seems to act like there's stuff up here, but I have no idea what it is. was your first controller game since PS1. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to again. 
I haven't consistently played PS4 in a while. Though I do play, there's a couple of controller stuff that I, I do play on. Like, I play quite a bit of Rocket League on this. Um. <clears throat> yeah, let's chunk a bunch of this stuff. Crash Bandicoot, huh? Yeah, I, I never played Crash Bandicoot. I was never a big fan of, like, 3D platformers like that. Um, and I'm definitely not knocking it, like, um, I just never, like, that gameplay never resonated with me. Um, I played Ratchet and Clank back on, on PS1, and I, I liked that, because there was, like, it was platforming, but there was also a lot of, like, action shooting as well, and, uh, so that helped me get into it. <clears throat> CTR. What is CTR? Crash Team Racing. Is that like Mario Kart, but just... Oh, Mario. Okay, yeah, got it. Got it, got it. <clears throat> What time is it? Twelve. I probably don't have time for a story mission. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's make some legit progress. Let's make some legit progress. <clears throat> Investigate the outer gates area. never not going to be funny to me. Oh my god, Final Fantasy 7. <clears throat> For a long, long time, that was my favorite game ever. Um, I mean, it still holds a very special place in my heart. I don't, I don't think people can go back to Final Fantasy 7 if they've never played it and understand what made it so special. But... At the time, that was just the most amazing, epic thing I had ever experienced. So, so freaking awesome. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think we really know when the remake comes out right now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something special. Um, it wasn't my first JRPG. I, uh, before that, <clears throat> before that, my big RPG was, uh, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger was absolutely phenomenal as well. Um, I didn't, but, but Final Fantasy VII was my first Final Fantasy. I missed six. Um, I tried to play six recently on my iPad. Um, and it was fine, but it just, I couldn't go back. I couldn't sit there and play, like, 
a 50 hour JRPG with pixel graphics on an iPad. Um, I, like, I, just, I couldn't stay invested in it. Um, though I know it was supposed to be amazing in its time. Alright, gotta find a gate key. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it seems fine to me, based on the little bit we've seen. I mean, we really haven't seen any gameplay, right? I'm concerned. Like I am concerned that it'll be too much like 15. I'm glad I played and beat 15, but... <clears throat> 15 felt very weird and not cohesive in the way its different systems worked. Um, so I'm hoping that it doesn't take too much from that. I'm okay with them going with a semi-action route, like, as opposed to straight, you know, Persona 5-style JRPG stuff. I don't know. I'll take your grenade assault. He just wants 7 with updated graphics. I mostly agree with that, but I would be okay with them tweaking it a little bit. Oh, I like turn-based battles too, though I do... I would like to see... I'd like to find a new form of turn-based battles. You know what I mean? Like, Persona 5 was neat, but I was so tired of the battles in Persona 5 by the end. So if they can find a way to update the turn-based battle system, that's what I really want. I want to find a way to make turn-based battles more interesting. <clears throat> You know what did a good job, and it, this is a really old game, but um, Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo, they took the turn-based battles from something like Chrono Trigger and then added a whole bunch of active elements to them that I thought were really neat. It's like you select a Mario power, like a Mario boot jump power sort of thing, but then you have to like tap, tap tap like to time them correctly a lot of like timing based things once you did the normal jrpg like selection shadow hearts i never played that i don't i'm not even sure i know what that is I'm just gonna keep reloading that because of how smooth it looks. All right, what do we got up here? Ice immune, fire vulnerable. Get a couple bow shots in first. Oh, he's gonna do this shit. Shit, these guys. You're not the ugliest thing I've killed today. There we go. Launch grenades all over the place, not hitting anything. similar to what you described, though. Basically, it was a mechanic to perform after selecting an attack. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, how it did make your attacks critical or whiff. Um, you know, the other... You probably know this one, Straybox. Um, I think Parasite Eve 
did it really well too. Parasite Eve was kind of like new Final Fantasy XV, but I remember thinking it was really, really good for the time. I liked that a lot. Did they still the random battles sort of thing? Yeah, man, Parasite Eve. I want, I want a new one of those. Taking this sort of Resident Evil feel, but putting it into a, an RPG kind of situation. Yeah. The music, the gameplay, the tone, everything about that was just really good. Is there still another dude? Oh, there's another... Got another tethered dude over here. Vagrant Story was on my... That was on my radar for a long time back in the day, and I just... I never ended up picking it up. You know what I think really turned me off? Oh, shit, there was a health pack right here. I think back then what really turned me off about Vagrant Story was it's... Like, the box art and any of the, the images that I saw from it looked like it was all sepia tone. It looked like very not saturated, and for some reason that bothered me at the time. Even though it was supposed to be a really great game. And I don't actually even know if it was like that. I just, it might have just been like the, the box art or something. I don't know. For whatever reason, that's, that's, I, that's something that I remember thinking at the time. It probably was just the box art. leaped at me right into my ice blade. <clears throat> yeah, Xenoblade I know nothing about. Um, Octopath I've seen some people talk about, and it seems like everyone thinks it's just fine. Again, I have not played it. I don't actually have any idea. I've heard a couple people say that they've just sort of like, they've really enjoyed the beginning, even and it, but it's like really slow and that they eventually like just lose steam on it I don't, jrpgs are tough right now i think i think sort of like mmos they need to find a way to um evolve because like persona 5 was very interesting and different and weird but there was a point i never finished it and i, I liked the story a lot but i never finished it because Eventually, I was just grinding these fucking battles. And, uh... I was just grinding those battles, and I just, I couldn't... All I really wanted to do was do, like, the life simulator stuff during the daytime. Xenogears I liked a lot. Xenogears was really, really good. Xenogears sort of reminded me of Chrono Trigger a little bit. Didn't they have, like, a combo system in that? That was sort of similar to Chrono Trigger? <clears throat> There was a lot of optional content in Xenogears 2, if I remember correctly. Oh, Wine and Game Pairing loves loves Nino Kuni. I've never played it. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the, um, the sort of cutesy... Uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot who the designer is for that. Uh, 
Um, it's very pretty and very well done. But, like, I never, I never got into those films. Yeah, Studio Ghibli. Yeah, yeah. I never got into a lot of those films. I appreciate them for what they are, but, like, I, they're just... It's not my style of anime. Um. Whoa, Nelly birds. What the fuck? What do you think it is? Oh, I know exactly what it is. Those are the outer gates. This must be where they emerged into our world after the collision. And shit. Look at this. You know what this is? Nope, but I have a feeling you're going to... Mesu's armor. After I knocked it off him like a little bitch. Who's Mesu? <laughs> oh. Just a god whose ass I kicked. No big deal. Ooh, do I get to hear another story about how awesome you are? Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. You know what? I'm not gonna tell you. I don't think you'd appreciate it. Aw, darn. I just find a secret while I wasn't even looking at the screen? How is that even possible? It seemed like the obvious place to go. Yeah, actually, Nino Kuni kind of like um, that's something that Xenogears did uh, winding game back in the original PlayStation. Um, they had fully animated, uh, like fully drawn anime cutscenes in Xenogears that were just phenomenal, and it really helped draw you into the story. Much like I think you feel about about Studio Ghibli and, and Nino Kuni. <clears throat> and I thought it was awesome back then as a kid. Man, that was during the time, I remember, I would play that game on Saturday mornings. Um, it was just me and my mom living together, and she just would like, I had the basement game room to myself, and she would just be like, here you go, here are some chocolate s'mores pop-tarts, and I would just hang out down there in the basement, just playing Xenogears for like six hours on Saturday mornings. And I just thought it was the best. Because it was the best. <clears throat> There's gotta be a, a fight in here, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Let's get that guy out of there as fast as possible. it, huh? That's all you guys got for me. I go over here instead. Holy shit. What? Shh. That's Mezu. Oh, the guy you... The god I... 
were super awesome at until his ass exploded. Something like that. <laughs> I go in here. Wait, he's in here? How did he see him? Oh, what is that? What is that? Just find a new weapon laying around. Judgment of Ent. Holy shit, look, it's a Gauss rifle? Look at this fucking thing. Gauss rifle, huh? Alright, you know what? Let's get rid of the rocket launcher, because I don't fucking like it. I don't like it. Gauss rifle is the same ammo, though, as these, unfortunately. Try it out. Alright, 3 1 chance to reload clip with 100% more ammo. So, do we want any. I don't know if we want any of this stuff on it. Add explosive material, lower its damage. I can make a charge shot, though. Maybe we'll do that again. Damage per to elemental, life drain, movement speed, fire rate. Make the miss rate better. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I want to be able to always use it, so that's why I'm not sure if I want to add other stuff to it. Critical chance. Lowers damage to large enemies, though. Clip size is 12. Hmm. Alright, this is okay, because I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to, like, fire a couple shots off in the beginning. Here, let's try, let's try this. Alright, let's just try it. We'll see. Look at that. Well, I have no idea how good this is going to be. Didn't have the highest damage. But maybe damage isn't everything. I think someone in here was telling me that recently. The impossible often has a kind of integrity the merely improbable lacks. Yeah, there's a chest down here. There is a chest down here. I like how this gun looks. It's very cool. Quotation is a serviceable substitute for wit. I don't trust him. Wait. Chest is downstairs. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Hey, freak show. Long time no ass kicking. Oh, no way. 
Have you come by to gloat at my meager circumstances? Well, it wasn't my original plan, but now that I'm here, why not? It'll be like old times. Look at those cops he has. I'm not sure why I thought I'd get sympathy from you. Some naive thought that you would grow up one day. Yeah, keep dreaming. Looks like your old stomping ground poked through into our world. How's it feel to be on my turf? I have tried to accept the situation with as much dignity as I can muster. <laughs> hey, zero is a start. Why are you still hanging around here? I am tasked with guarding the gates. The collision did not change that fact. I was sent to find out where the ooze is coming from. Looks like you have a little seepage problem there. If certain seepage, huh? had not taken it upon themselves to disturb the gates, we should not be in this predicament in the first place. Oh, you mean my brilliant strategy to distract you while I kicked your ass? You don't comprehend the forces you're dealing with. If it were not for me, the gates would have opened that day. Humanity would have perished if not for my sacrifice. All right, you're secretly a good guy. It slipped my mind. I'm gonna have to fight him, right? Oh, that's it. I didn't hurt him. Seems okay, I guess. This thing needs piercing. I feel like if I can like line people up. All right, let's just use a real gun. What is he? Electrical resist. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him in the butt. That doesn't do a whole lot of damage to him. You feel lucky, asshole. I guess there's no reason not to use my sword on these guys. Save my ammo for the big guy. So much of this, uh, as much of this toxic damage on him as possible. Did you see how much crude was oh, there we go. That has to be the source. That was easy. Hey, what was all the stuff he was talking about? By breaking the seals on the gates. When he went to seal them again, I attacked them. It was some serious battlefield improvisation. It's a fine line between brilliant and cowardly. Hey, a win is a win. He was trying to kill me. Do you ever wonder about the fact that you're the hero of all the stories you tell? I mean, come on. How likely is it that you are always... Uh, sorry. I gotta take this. <sighs> it's pretty epic looking. Go away. Please return here with all haste. Zilla's men are invading the village. I 
believe they're looking for chemical. Your assistance would be appreciated. Damn, I'll be right there. We have to get back there, now. No shit, lady. Teleport us already. Okay, just let me get a lock on... Oh, that's weird. I can't... I can't feel the statues in town. It's like they're not there. Doesn't matter. Just get us anywhere close. Okay, nearest mm. spot is... Um, it's gonna be a hike. Out of the possible, lady. Out of the possible. Mission was so much easier than that, like, random side quest I was trying to do earlier. And that side quest, like, got me nothing. It was, like, a skill point was all they were, like, giving me or whatever. Oh, well. Big trouble and calamity. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think that's where... Uh, I think that's where I have to call it. I think that's where I gotta call it. Alright, yeah, I gotta eat some food. Gotta take the dog out, gotta go to work, do all that good stuff. Um, I will... When's next time I'll be on? As usual, I think I'll, you know, I'll do a surprise stream maybe tomorrow or Thursday. Um, but I will definitely be back on Friday. Um, I could see myself doing some more Frostpunk on Friday. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I do another uh, roguelike day or not. But... I gotta, you know, either this or Frostpunk, I think will probably be the main deal. So, um, let's see. Do we have, do we have any raid people up and running right now? I'd be surprised. This is like a random time for there to be any, anyone hanging out. Yeah, it looks like there's only big... Looks like there's only big streamers on right now. Unfor oh, well, hey, I could raid Kobik. Oh, no one is playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. All right, yeah, we'll raid him. This will be fun. Hang out for a little bit of time with uh, with, with a known one. Really good friend of the channel. Really, really good. Throw some barks in there for him, from me. From me to him. All right. Yeah, he'll he'll be happy. He'll be excited about this. Known one. Rate it. So, as always, good to hang with you guys. Just wait for a couple seconds with this raid and we'll go do it. See you soon.